Hey guys, Westy here. Okay, I've got a DX7S here, and um, I just wanted to show you the quick way of setting up a setting up the unit for a simulator using the when you're using the um, the port for the back and, the, and a cable with uh, Phoenix RC. Um, I've had a bit of trouble setting it up, so I thought, and I've tried a few experiments, and and it seems to work every time. So. Let's just say you have been playing with it and it's a mess. What you do is um, hold that, just press lightly on the top of the roller button and fire the unit up to get it into the setup menu. And I'll just scroll in so you guys can see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down so basically do the model select first and um, I'm in heli I, I want to set up this is my simulator one so I'm just going to select that model for now and I'm, then I'm straight away I'm going to reset that model so click on reset and data reset okay now that's critical because if you've, if you've been mucking around with all your settings um, you're going to be chasing your tail so you best start with a factory setup so now we're going to go back up and reselect model type, helicopter, yes. Model name, change that to, uh, I'll change it to sim, so we don't get disorientated. And then press back. Swash type, single servo, back. Switch select. Okay, what we need to do here is we need to remove all the um, setups on the knob. So inactive, inactive, and now we need to reassign those to hold, gear, and fault, uh, flight mode to aux two. Now what that will do, that will allow your flight mode to switch here. To operate and also your throttle hold this one to operate in the simulator okay so we'll just come back down again and then back and then F mode select you want to make sure that both of those are inhibited on both flight mode and hold Okay, and you go back, and that is it. Back, and then turn it off. And now we're going to plug it into the simulator and see how it goes. Okay, so we leave the switch off. And remember we, set, we had set it up in... Sim, it's in the sim model. Confirm you've got that before you plug it in. So turn it off again. And we're going to connect it up. And I'll initialise. Okay, so I'm just going to open up Phoenix and just open it up there. Okay, and that's come up with a, your transmitter is currently being is not currently being detected. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete. Um, my setup because it's not fair. So I'll delete that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up from scratch. So following the um, the configuration that we set up just previously, um, what we'll do is we'll plug in our transmitter now into the back. I've got a 12 and one um, wireless transmitter, but I'm just using the cable coming out of the side. That's set for um, uh, for wireless, uh, sorry, for uh, wire and Phoenix RC. 
Okay, so I'll just plug this in there. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this here for now, and we're going to go in and set up the configuration. So set up new transmitter. I'm going to set my sticks to mid stick, like so. And I'm actually going to bring the camera down and so you guys can see the transmitted directly. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go, I'm just going to put the sticks, all your, all your switches should be back and down. So all your throttle hold and all that sort of stuff should be down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're get, just going to um, click on next. Um, preparing your transmitter, set, set your throttle stick to um, the centre. And everything else should be centered anyway, so click on next and then next again. Make sure your switches are all off. Next again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to swirl the sticks. So we're just going to turn the sticks and we'll watch the screen as those sticks start moving about. Okay, so now it's getting full range. Okay, and then go to next. Now we're going to click the switches, so we're going to do the throttle hold switch, this one. And that moves channel 5 on and off, on, off, on, off. Okay, and then we'll do the flight mode switch, which is channel 7, on, off, on, off. Okay, so that, that tells us that that's definitely working. You will notice though, when I do move the collective, that one and six move together. So um, we're going to do some configurations on that in a minute. Um, just check everything's working. So we've definitely got uh, six channels actually working. So we'll go finish and then next. So we're going to go spectrum and then next and then next. Um, mine's a DX7S and I'm going to go to advanced setup so click that little radio by advanced setup and then next okay so what that does is going into advanced everything remains unmapped okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, start with the throttle first we'll start with the general stuff first so start with the throttle, move the throttle, and I'm going to put channel 6 as the throttle map. Okay, and then I'm just going to move down the helicopters, I'll leave the other stuff alone for now. Um, and collective pitch, I'm also going to go channel 6, because channel 6 uh, for, for the throttle and the collective pitch to be the same. Now cyclic pitch, click on unmapped, and cyclic pitch is forwards and backwards, so we'll go channel 3, because that's moving. Now cyclic roll, we'll, we'll try and see which, okay, we'll move it left and right, and it's channel 2 that's moving. Okay, tail rotor, we'll go to the rudder channel, channel 4, throttle hold, what do we got here? Channel 5, so we'll select that. Um, idle up, click on unmapped, and then select your idle up here. And that's channel 7. So it's all, it's all that light up there. Channel 7. Okay, and we'll leave 
Um, you can actually set gyro mode and stuff if you've got extra channels, but I don't bother with that. Um, and fly ballast mode and stuff. But um, we'll go to left engine and right engine for the fixed wing, so we'll go um, channel 6 for both of those. So we're going to see out the plane as well. Um, so that's right and left engine, channel 6. Um, left and right elevator. So we're going to move the elevator. Channel 3. And right elevator, channel 3. So the elevator should move together. And ailerons. We'll check out what the ailerons are. Channel 2. And the other ailerons is channel 2. And we need to tick one or the other so to reverse the channel so that basically the ailerons go different ways. Uh, one goes left and one, uh, one goes up and the other one's going down at the same time. So when I move that, you should see them split. Yep, that's perfect. But we need to see whether that's correct in the model. So go rudder. Move it, channel 4, um, and flaps, you can set up uh, whichever you like, channel 5 for the, do the throttle hold for that one, if you like, for flaps, so I'll select channel 5 for that. Okay, so... That should much, pretty much get everything going. Um, you can do activate smoke here as well um, on the plane. And you can actually, you could do that for your, your flight mode one there for channel 7. Select that for example. And then we'll go finish. And then finish. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to check this heli to make sure that it's working. So I'm going to make sure, okay something's not quite right there, so we need to go back into the controls, system, your controls, uh, oh that's right because I've got the wrong configuration so I'm going to delete this, delete, um, so we configured 7 X, uh, DX7S, so we'll go finish and see if that works. Okay, let's see whether we've got all the controls, so we'll go left tail. Okay, that needs reversing, the, the rudders need reversing because it's going the wrong way. So does the, um, out, actually all the controls need reversing. So we'll go back in and go system, your controls, DX7S, um, edit profile, and all of those controls were incorrect, it were going the wrong way. So we'll go to the helicopter and we'll go, except for the throttle of course. So we'll go cyclic pitch and we'll tick that to inverse it. Roll and tick to inverse and tail, tick to inverse. And we'll also do um, the, t the, the, the t rudder for the plane and reverse that and we'll also reverse the um, left and right elevator and then go finish and finish and let's see if that's made a difference so we'll try and pick it up okay nose right nose left yep that's working great back forwards that's working good right and left that's working good also okay good so now we want to check throttle hold so click that yep that's worked and we also want to check idle up so we're going to flip it up ok that works <laughs> Oh, it's hard for me to control it sitting on the desk like that. Okay, so now we're going to change model and we're going to go to plane or find any plane, doesn't really matter, just whatever. 
Um, oh, there needs to be a prop, of course. So we'll do something like a um, the Deuces Wild or something like that. Because uh, it's got twin props. So we're going to We're going to basically check the rudder directions are all working properly, so I'm just going to take off. Okay, we'll go aileron, yep. And then elevator's working perfectly, aileron's working perfectly. And the tail, tail's working perfectly as well. So that's good, so it's all working great. Excellent. Great. Okay, everything works good. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching that. I hope uh, you learned something, and um, hope that kind of gets rid of all the mystery around setting these things up for um, for Phoenix. Obviously, that'll work fine for the cable setup, like there. Um, I've found that if you run a um, receiver and switch it into wireless mode all those controls change and you basically have to run ad hoc to get it to work but it definitely works for this controller in wired mode connected to the back of your transmitter okay so I hope that helps you guys out and um, yeah good luck <laughs>